So let's say we hear a given bass note and we know that it's a dominant seventh chord. Now I'm not going to put in the figures right off. Um, I'm not going to write this for each one of those because these are different bass notes and that means we're inverting the chord. We're going to figure out what that figure is going to be. So here I'm, I hear dominant seventh and I have G in the bass. Well, that's that's the root if I'm in C, so I know what that is right off. But now, see, if we memorize this information over here, the scale degree in the base for every one of these Roman numerals and figures, I can look right at this second symbol here, where I've got B as our base note, and I hear a dominant seventh sound. I can say, well, B is scale degree seven, therefore I know it's got to be a five, six, five, and I can go there directly. If I have a dominant seventh sound and I have scale degree two in the bass, I can know right away that that's five four three if I've memorized this information over here. Scale degree two in the bass has to go with a five four three. And one last one, if I have scale degree four in the bass and I hear a dominant seventh sound, I'm going to write that down automatically because I know that scale degree four in the bass with a dominant seventh sound means it's got to be five four two.